What's up brick builders? Today's build is the Super Sora. It is one of the three in one models for this set, set number 31042. Year it came out was 2016. Age group, you're looking at six plus. Number of parts, 100. Price per piece is 10 pence. Cost back in 2016 was 9.99. And uh, value now, if you had one mint box sealed, uh, you're looking at 22 pounds. So it's pretty good, pretty good, not bad investment. Uh, used, you're looking at three to four pounds. So there's nothing much there. Hello, folks. Sean from Britain Bricks. How you doing? Thank you so much again for coming over and checking out yet another one of our videos. Um, another plane. It seems to be some sort of thing going on at the moment. I keep keep finding planes or coming up with planes. Um, this is a three-in-one build, as I said, and I believe there's a spaceship and then there's something else as well. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's check it out, shall we? So it's 100 parts, so there isn't that many parts to it and probably wasn't. it's not probably going to use all of the parts. I don't know. Uh, let's get the instructions up for you. There we go. That's what it looks like when it's finished. So it's another jet swing wing. Kind of looks like a Tomcat. Probably. Is it Tomcat? This has the two rear tail fins. Uh, is it the F-15 Eagle? I think that does as well. Uh, flame, flame me in the comments. Please flame me in the comments. <laughs> If, if I've got it all wrong, just drop it in the comment there for us. Uh, there's also uh, a couple of other uh, videos, the three-in-one videos. So check check these videos out here. Um, we've got a three-in-one playlist going on now. So anyway, let's crack on with this. Uh, it's another creator. So what we got? We got a 2x10. Uh, Is that 2x10? I think that's 10. One, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, it's ten. Two by ten. We got two of those. So we join those together. We got part the C's here. Join those together. We got a two by four tile. That's going to go right at the end there, so you can now hold these pieces together. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to have it the way the picture is showing on the instructions. So we got this white one by four tile going across here. And then in these corners here, we have these corner pla uh, corner panels. These one by one corner panels. There's one. So you're going to have the corner open on the side of the model, the outside of the model. So one is the other one. So again, the corner open. You're going to have this L shape here. In there so it's open on either sides uh, we got some four by four cut corners that is gonna go there and that is gonna go there it almost looks like a plane already uh, okay we got some more of those uh, plates but these uh, uh, panels sorry uh, these are two by uh, one by twos um look kind of like like a look like a bench seat uh in this case it looks got to put them together like bench seat bench seats back to back like that and then we've got the two by two turntables so we've got some turntables got one here they're just going to go right opposite these bench seats here like that two of those think that's the wrong gray that looks like a light gray not a light bluish gray I may be wrong it might be just a light and then we got two one by fours going underneath these these uh, turntables so they're going right to the end of the turntable so you got these two studs facing that so these must be the wings the the swing wing uh, and then we got a orange one by six is that, <clears throat> is that an orange orangey yellow I don't think it's actually yellow is it it's a light orange or something 
there we go and that's going to go across there then we got a one by two orange plate um then we got one by two blue plates going across each side here yeah what color is this it's like an off yellow and then we got two of these one by two plates going off like that and kind of looks like a robot almost like the legs those are the shoulders for the arms it's gonna be his head and we're doing the cockpit <coughs> two by six with a one by two technic brick with a single hole in it it's gonna go at one end and then we got a two by six brick it's gonna go on top uh, and then we got a two by six black plate is going to go on top of that. Then we got the Technic pin with, so it has a pin on one side and a fairly long axle about, was that too long? Two studs long? Three, three studs long? Let's have a look, it's two studs in that. Yeah, almost, almost. Yeah, it's definitely a two stud long, uh, two stud long uh, axle there with a stopper so you can push it into the hole only so far and it will sit there that's probably gonna be the, yeah it's gonna be the nose cone isn't it yeah so you get the nose cone which is a two by two by two cone piece it's just gonna fit if it doesn't uh, pop in straight away just rotate it slowly because it has i don't know if you can I don't know if you can see that but there is a slight axle hole at the very bottom so that's what that is trying to find and then we got these two cockpit pieces now we've seen these in the build before doing exactly the same thing back to back cockpit like that so that's going to go on top of the black two by six and there you have your cockpit and that is going to attach to these two pieces here so these four studs here like that uh, one by one bricks and one by two bricks and two one by four bricks so let's do the two one by two bricks those are going to go on either side of the cockpit like that then you got these one studs here and that's for the one by one blue brick so they're going to go on either side like that and then you got the one by fours just going down the ends of these these tail planes here like that then we got three by three cut corners got one here these are going to be the wings so i think we'll do one at a time i think um so you're gonna have this one by one plate with the clip on it it's red it's going to be on one of the corners so the way this is in the instructions is you've got the cut piece on the right hand side and pop the one by one plate top right hand corner then you get the two by six and that's the wrong side that's the right side so you got the slope on the top and the three by three has the slope uh, the cut corner on the the bottom right and then you go join that up with a one by four tile along the bottom here like that and then you go put another three by six um, I think I said two by six, didn't I? All the way up to the end of the clip there. And then this little area here, we're gonna be putting a one by one square trans red tile. So it's your navigation light. And then we're gonna tip that off with a one by uh, a two by three um, angle plate to finish the wing off. 
and then we got a one by four tile gray going across the top there no it's a one by three actually it's a one by three tile sorry going straight across there on the clip and then on these two studs here we've got this two by two circular tile and just slowly rotate it until it drops in place and it should be directly below the one by three and then we got the double bar so it's a one by two plate with a bar on each side a small bar on each side usually you would find them like that without the bar on the other side but this one has a bar on both sides and with the clip still at the top right you want to pop that into the clip but you want the studs facing you okay then we go put a trans orange circular uh, tile on the far right stud like that turn it over um, oh and then you're going to be putting this circular piece underneath that's what that circular piece is right okay so turn it back over fold this in and then we're going to pin it to the plate here now is that going to be it's interesting isn't it I think that's just gonna pin to that like that yeah there you go now you've got the the swing wing so something's going to attach here so that you can push maybe there's going to be something in here that you can push that will move the swing wing pretty cool pretty cool can't wait to see where it happens uh, get the cut corner this time we're gonna have the angle on the bottom left and your one by one plate with the clip is gonna be on the top left get your two by f uh, your three by six and the the angle is gonna be on the top right so your cut corner is on the bottom left join it together with the white one by four plate uh, tile sorry at the bottom easier said than done actually you just pick up one hold it <laughs> pick up the other there you go then we got another um, three by six it's just going to go over the way top all the way up to the red plate and then we've got this one here this is going to be a green so this could be a trans green square one by one tile and then we're going to just cap this piece off with a two by three angle plate to give us the uh, finished top of the wing there. And then the one by three tile across. Oh, I just saw it. There it is one by three tile just going straight across from the clip. And then the circular two by two tile below it. And then attach again so having the clip at top right uh, top left attach again a, a one by two plate with double bar again the uh, studs facing you and this time we're going to have a one by one trans orange in the far left stud turn it over you would put the turntable bottom on there so we're going to bend this and then we're going to attach that to the other turntable. If I can get it to find its place. I'm going to line it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to have to join these two together, I think, in order to see that. That's really cool, actually. That is really cool. And that's what straightens them out. Okay, so what is going to be in there that's going to do it? Okay, we're going to just cover it over. Okay. Okay. Just make sure that I haven't missed anything here. Yeah, just cover it over. So we've got this uh, four by six plate. That's going to go on the back. Like that. It's a great little plane, isn't it? It really is. And then these uh, two by threes 
I'm going to have the angle on the outside, but it's sloping in towards the back, so it's going to give that uh, defined shape on top. Then we got a one by four plate going straight across those, and then two yellow one by one trans yellow plates on each end. I hope they're not our thrusters. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. We're just going to be covering it, covering these over. I thought that we would keep those, but we're going to cover those over with four by four cut corners on the top, kind of following the angle like that. So it's made it a little bit bigger. And now we got the look like engine intakes um, with the one by two plate with the four stud hangover. It's going to hang on one stud like that. And this one is going to go on the other side. And if you look down, you got your intakes. And then we're going to put a one by two plate blue on each side close to the wing like that. And then we go put, uh, oh, I see, we made a step down feature. Ah, okay. Okay, so two by two. Um, but it's not going to do the step down like it usually does because we're going to finish off with a cheese wedge. So this is actually kind of clever. We're going to be overlapping the smooth part. So it's going to be like that, keeping those two yellow studs, orange studs open. So that's kind of cool. You don't usually see it like that. And it kind of gives it that little bit of a, a bulge there at the end. And then we're going to finish it off with a two by, a one by two cheese wedge, which flows quite nicely. It's, it's not quite a seamless joint, but it, it flows quite nicely into the intake. So you kind of got this. I think I would probably prefer, I think I probably prefer this because it looks, I don't know, that looks kind of ship, like a boat or something like that. I don't know why, it looks like a ship hull. So I'll pop that back on there. Oh, yeah, easier said than done. There we go. So we're gonna put this back where it's supposed to be. I think, I think this just is a little bit too wide. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, two by f uh, three plate with two one by one clips, plates with clips, and they're just going to hang off one end like that. So you should have four blue studs at the bottom of it. On top of that four blue studs, we're going to be putting a dark bluish gray two by four plate. And then underneath that, we got a two by two black plate. I think this is what's going to clip into these, these arms here. That's what I think is going to be happening here. Put a two by four light bluish gray tile. And then we've got a one by two jumper plate. And then underneath that, we're putting this one by two plate with some studs on the end. And then on top of the jumper plate, we're putting a one by four plate with studs on the end. So we've got, that's not correct. <laughs> Is it? Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Like, that should sit on that, that pin, shouldn't it? But it's not, it's really weak. Wow, okay. Maybe there's something that's gonna hold it in place like a <laughs> like a plate. There we go. Now it's solid. And then we go looks like we're putting the engines with these two by two uh droid R five droid um elements. Half cone type thing. So we've got two of those. And then we just go cap those off with uh, two more one by one circular trans orange 
tiles like that and that's your jet engines okay so let's go click click right so it's going like that I don't know if that's going to line up with those there but you push this into the back end and they should click in place and now you just pull the engine back and you got your swing wing that's actually really kind of cool that is really kind of cool i like that nice little play feature that and then we're just going to finish it off with some nice little tiles and stuff and they're keeping this open that's a bit weird okay so we got these one by four by three four one by four by four uh tail pieces and there's going to go on the very end so there's one and then two i think these are first these are the first ones i own i think and then we got these one by one square trans yellow plates going after it and then we got these one by six i think they're one by six yeah one by six uh yellow off yellow orange whatever light orange uh tiles all the way down following the line of the the tails here and then we got a load of great plates and we've got a whole yeah, we've got a whole bunch of great plates and we've got um, a few jumper plates here. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, so... Pretty... <laughs> okay. We're putting uh, great plates on top of the tails. We've got great plates behind the cockpit. Now, that's probably where I would put them. Yeah. And then two jumper plates. This is just basically using up area, isn't it? Using up parts. Like that. And there you have it, folks. The Super Sora. And it is actually kind of cool for a little model like this. For, uh, for $9.99. Almost forgotten how much how much it was. For $9.99. For it's it's not a bad little set you you get some decent cockpit pieces you get a comb piece you get quite a lot of tiles you get quite a good few amount of jumper plates and great plates plus the angled plates as well so you do get quite a decent and these double clips as well these double uh plates with clips um with bars sorry yeah you 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 got uh quite a decent uh, an assortment of pieces you got some decent long plates as well big cut corners and stuff yeah definitely worth the the 9.99 9.99 it was back in 2016 it looks pretty cool it looks a bit like a blue angel doesn't it probably change these to blue keep the yellow stripes you might you might have like a little blue angel but it looks pretty cool i I am kind of getting over this that that it is this wide. It needs landing gear. It's an, it's another plane that we don't have landing gear. <laughs> I would be interested to see um what the next build uh, you know what the um the other builds are because it's a 3 in 1 set. There you go. You can't it's not that big. It's you know almost fits in the side palm of my hand or size of my hand so it's not an overly massive set but you do get some pretty good parts for it and you do get some decent colors as well but this is cool that i like and it's so smooth as well go so yeah check it out thank you very much folks if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you hated the video give it a thumbs down and don't be shy if you like please comment tell me why you didn't like it tell me why you liked it 
Tell me anything about the set that you 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 would like to that you have the set you've you've built the set uh, you don't like the set you know that kind of thing just let me know let me know in the comments below that would be cool and also while you're at it hit the notification and the subscribe uh, thingamabobber because then you'll see some more of these videos. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Sean from Britain Bricks. Peace.